Good afternoon, fourth grade. Hey, we're on chapter three. Now, in the social studies book, they always call them lessons, but they're actually chapters. This is the whole chapter. This is our last introductory chapter before we actually get into the heart and core of this book, which is the sections or the regions of our country. So first we talked about the social scientists, and then last week we talked about how we would read maps and the different sections that our country is divided up. Now we've got to talk about some people. There are people in our country, lots of people, and lots of unique people people in our country. This chapter is aimed at looking at some of those groups. We got this little picture of the school bus here and you can see just by the different faces on the school bus we got different people. Um, and so that's what our unit's about. Take a look at some of our vocabulary words. We got the Americas, we got colony, we got culture, we got democracy, we got diverse, and we have immigrant. And we're going to search through as we go. Now remember all of these pages are found online you have to go to Clever, and then to go to the TCI, and then you can go to page 39 if you want to join me online. You can have the book read it to you. Also, there's a pretty cool um, game on there that hopefully now after I showed you last week how to play it, you can be playing that to review your vocabulary words, and you can play it more than once or twice to help you with this chapter. Today we want to tackle the introduction and then the first group of people. How have different groups contributed to the United States? Introduction. The United States is a nation with many different places and features like mountains and rivers. But the United States is much more than a geography of the land. A nation like the United States is a place where people live together under one government. People who live in the United States are very different from other, one another. Look around your school. Do your fellow students look the same way or eat the same types of food? Do they speak the same language at school or at home? Do their families all share the same way of life? from many schools? The answer is no. Garden Homes is, is pretty diverse too. We have different nationalities of students that come to our school here. The United States is a nation where people from many different backgrounds live together. These people come from many parts of the world. They come to the United States for many reasons. In this lesson you will learn about the people of five parts of the world who came to our country. You will learn about how and why these different people first came to America and you will see how each group has contributed to our country in a special way. Now, just because we're going to study five doesn't mean there are only five. There are more than five different groups of people who came to the United States. But if we were to cover them all, we may not have enough time. All right, so let's get into our first group here today. The first Americans arrive. Archaeologists agree that the first Americans arrived long ago but they have different ideas how exactly these people came to North America. For many years, most scientists believe that the first people in the Americas came from the country of Asia about 11,500 years ago. At this time, Earth's climate was much colder than it is today. Much of the Earth's surface was covered with ice. This long cold period was known as the Ice Age. During the Ice Age, snow piled up and created huge sheets of ice called glaciers. Because so much water was in the form of ice, the level of the oceans was down, went down. A narrow strip of seawater between Asia and North America disappeared. This left a bridge of land between the two countries. So this up here is where Alaska is, and this over here is where Asia is. And if this is all frozen, there might have been this strip of land that you could now, right now, because there's so much water in the oceans, this area right here is covered in water. You couldn't swim across there because that's a long ways. But they figured because it was either there was land there or there was ice there, they could have gotten across there, come from Asia into the Americas. Scientists believe that herds of animals wandered onto this land bridge looking for food. Hunters from Asia may have followed them and crossed the land bridge to North America. Years later, the seawater once again covered up the land bridge. More recent discoveries have led some scientists to think that people may have arrived in Americas even earlier, about 12,500 years ago. People with boats may have moved along the Pacific coast of Alaska and then northwest Canada, then south. Over time, people spread throughout the North and South America. American Indians are the descendants of these first Americans. A descendant is someone who is related to a particular person or group. So the blue lines here, and people with boats may have traveled along the coast here and then spread into the Americas.
Contributions of the American Indians. So we had two things we we're going to look at. Who were they? And then what did they contribute to our current state? American Indians are a diverse people with many different tribes and languages. They have affected Americans' life in many ways. One important contribution has been that their culture or way of life respect nature. Native, Native people did not harm the environment as much as people from other nations did around the world. American Indians also gave names to many of the places in our country, including major rivers such as the mighty Mississippi River. We still use many of these names today. Some of our states, such as Iowa or Minnesota, have Native American names as well. You may be able to see other contributions in your kitchen at home. American Indians were the first group to grow many of the kinds of food we eat today. One of the most popular foods that they grew was corn. And you know they didn't have corn in Europe? That was something that the Indians started right here in the Americas. In different areas where they settled, American Indians also grew fruits and vegetables like beans and squash. There are many other contributions that American Indians have made to American life. Before the United States was created, a group of American Indian tribes worked closely together to separate power between the central government and each individual tribe. When the United States was formed, our early leaders were influenced by the American Indian tribes. You can research contributions to American Indians have made in the United States. And then here's a picture in its caption. It says, American Indians live in tribes. Each tribe develops its own language and its own custom. All right, for our assignment today, you find the one in your packet says Monday, page 39 to 41. You may start with your name at the top. Now, you guys, just a couple things we're we'll doing. It says make a simple sketch to represent this group's settlement experience. Now, I am not so good at sketching, but I'm going to try to draw this here. We're going to have Asia over here, and their coast kind of looks like this, and like this. And then we're going to have North America here. And North America kind of juts out here like this, and that's, that's where... Okay. And then the South America is down here. Now I'm just looking at this map here and trying to make mine look look like that. And then I'll put some arrows there. Here's where the settlement came from. Okay. Write one sentence to describe this group's settlement experience. Now we're going to settlement. The Indians were the first people to the Americas. Now, I'm saying Americas because you got North America and you got South America. And of course, the United States is in North America. North America consists of Canada, the United States, and Mexico. And then we got South America. And there's a bunch of stuff in the middle here. People call this Central America here. Okay? So I'm going to say people were the first people to the Americas. They came over a land bridge or by boat. And this is just speculations. This is just what scientists and archaeologists believe. Look at the collage up above here now. Write the letter of this group's contribution. Well, they didn't say anything about trains. They didn't say anything about jazz music. They didn't say anything about big government. Well, they did say they contributed to our government. Had no idea what this is. But this one has corn and fruits and vegetables and Indians took care of Mother Nature. So I'm going to call that A. Now, guys, you're going to need to remember this picture to be able to do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday's assignment. On Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to have one sheet with two different groups on it. Okay? And so we want to tackle each one of these groups one day a week. So Tuesday will be this group, and Wednesday will be this group, and each time you have to look back at this sheet. Okay, so keep it handy, but keep it in your Monday folder. That's it for today's lesson. Great job, guys. Finish up strong.